Hey everyone, here to show you our real stranger. Um, I just want to show you that that over there was Gizzard Gulch. Can't go back over there because this bridge is broken, so I can't go back there. But I can still you sh show you enough of this sandbox world, this big open world with varied environments, and just show you how next gen it looks back when it came on the Xbox. Um, so I'll show you the whole area and how there's zero loading. I'll show you some of the particle effects, all these um, dan dandelions and all this stuff uh, in the air. So that's a lot of particle effects. You know, you can see smoke in the distance. Um, you know, there's some fire even which you can hear because of depth of field. But I'll show you more of the depth of field later and more of the exploring without any loading at all. It's very similar almost to Half-Life 2 except in Half-Life 2 you get a loading screen but in this game not at all. And once I unlock the whole world I should be able to go everywhere without any loading at all. So this is the Opal Farm as you can see. And here I'll show you the woo, the big apple farm or apple farm. Uh, it's pretty big. There are these big houses that have stuff in them. You know, you could there's like in one mission you have to break into the house uh, and try to find some treasure or something without people noticing. I could just uh, let me try that again. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they don't like that when you do that. They'll start, if you start harassing them a lot, then they'll go into their houses and they'll start shooting you from the windows. So that's very cool western touch to that. So that was the apple farm, but I'll show you the next city. So I just show you how you can't go back to Gizzard Gulch, but you can go to Buzzerton, which is this... Woo! <laughs> Big sandstorm you can see here. Actually, let me show you particle effects, like lots of corn and, you know, going... But yeah, that's particle effects. Uh, sound is amazing. You just saw a little, like, that was the loading, because... It's like, it's, uh, it's very brief, yeah, for like 0.1 second. And, oh yeah, I'll show you from up here. Oh, hello, woman. These are clackers, in case you don't know. They're like the chicken folk, which is pretty funny. Pretty fun playing as stranger. So... We're in buzzer turn, that's a sewer treatment we need to go next. And just this big world, I'll show more. I'll show you the uh, depth of field about now. So I showed you all the graphical effects, it's pretty advanced. I'll show you a little depth of field if anyone wants to walk. Um, let me go a little faster. Yeah. Perfect. You can hear this guy's sound. The depth of field is it blurs out some places, things you don't want to see, but can, you know, uh, focus on little things you want to see. So it's very advanced for its time, you know, blurring out stuff, only the thing you want to see. So you can hear that w clackers walking, hear her walking. It's all very isolated and pretty cool. If you want to eavesdrop on people, these clackers conversations were pretty funny. Uh, you know, there are a few on Apple, Apple Farm that will start talking about this um, daughter of the mayor who's pretty hot. And some very hilarious. Graph neon signs are pretty amazing to look at. Uh, that's the bounty store. You know. And... So I'll show you the depth of field now. I'm going to go all the way back and uh, yeah, to show you how big the world is. Remember, there's so much detail. This can't be done 
like uh, you know like Grand Theft Auto or whatever they're big cities so they can keep on replicating the uh, buildings all those environments but in this game every little bit of the world is so unique and you know these canyons the cornfields the rose bushes the towns uh, people everywhere there's barely any pop in so with all this detail you're still getting uh, you know there is no compromise see those are little roses and uh, that's the opal farm as you can see on the left and i'll just go yeah so Showing you all the stuff that makes this pretty next gen. Like, see, you see a little pop in, but that's very natural. Like, they just come, like all these bushes, yeah, rather than people popping, which is very annoying in other sandbox games. So, that's why I was looking from that house to that, the bridge gone, and I'll just set myself on fire. And, yeah, that's pretty cool effect with the sun's uh, rainbow coming off. You can see the amazing uh, character model detail. It's just really amazing. Uh, you can see the Apache, you know, clothes he's wearing and the hat and the bow and arrow. The details in these creatures, uh, like you know, yeah, that's a wasp. Basically, in the machine gun, infinite ammo. You can see all the stuff. Uh, that's the fuzzles. They grab onto people and like pranas basically. You have the chipmunks which trash talk a lot. Very funny. Uh, and you have these spiders that you know wrap up enemies. The st stunks. They stink a lot basically. And then the explosives. Yeah. They're pretty insane. See like there's some grass. Well, there you go. I'll just put myself on fire again. I'm on fire! Well, I'll see you next time. Bye!